We want to welcome everybody and request that we should get as early as possible. On this arrival, the money will be able to go inside.
immediate family members I am referring to the from the children will now go to behold their daddy yeah. We don't want camera. Where are you going to? I'm from Supreme Court. No, no, no. Come, come, come. Which one is that from Supreme Court? Please, everybody here to please move out. Tell everybody to start going to the church. I have not heard the whole record. Let us go to the church. I'm not going to the whole record. Everybody to the church. Everybody to the church. On my way, just the Supreme Court justices only. The justices will now have the opportunity. The one when the children are inside now. The man who entered the room can wash them. Let us all go to the church. They don't want it announced. We'll just bring them quietly. Okay, quietly. Okay, then I'll come in here. Thank you. Thank you.
CJM, another justices of the Supreme Court, we will now have the opportunity to see for the last time their colleague who went down in there. Do we have Call the deputy governor. May we now request the deputy governor of Edinburgh State to take his stand, to pay his respect to the fallen icon. The deputy, the deputy governor of Edinburgh State, may we plead with you, sir? So please come forth and pay your respect to Tony Obona, a Japanese worker, Kaimi Kibi Boka, Kaimi Boka, Kaimi Boka, Kaimi We know that a lot of people would like to behold him while lying in state. But for so many reasons, including the fact that we are running short of time. Thank you. 
God remember us in your kingdom. God remember us in your kingdom. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord, Lord, hear my voice and let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. Respond. Lord, remember us. You, Lord, to mark our you, Lord, who will survive, but with you is found forgiveness for him. This will reveal you. Respond. Lord, remember us. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on the word. My soul is longing for the Lord. More than watchmen and daybreak. Respond. Lord, remember us. Because with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all his iniquity. Respond. Lord, remember us in your The Lord be with you. Listen to our prayers. We humbly beg your mercy that your servant Justice, gentle chief and wise, who we have called from this life, may be brought by you to a place of peace and light, and so be able to share life of all your servants through Christ our Lord. Let us proceed in peace of God.
I stand here in the name of the Catholic Bishop of Esoka, Most Reverend God of the Nicola, to welcome visitors in a special way to welcome Bishop Calistus Kamaga, the Bishop of Enugu, who is going to preside this class. The auxiliary bishop, Bishop Ernest Tupedo. I want to welcome all the excellencies here, all the Lord, Tenable, all members of the community. One day we give your court is better than a thousand years worth.
them for terrestrial existence to an everlasting existence that is beyond the sky. I don't know about that, which is important to know because we are people of very big faith and environment. But it is in regard of death that a man's condition is mostly shrouded in that. The fathers of the Vatican Council made it clear that a man is tormented not only by pain and by the gradual breakup of his body, but also and even more by the dread of forever ceasing to be. But the deep instinct in this man rightly to shrink and to reject the utter green and total loss of personality because he bears in himself the seed of eternity, which cannot be reduced to mere matter. He rebels against them. All the aids made available by technology, many of which have been enjoyed by great friend, Sisi Mwet. However useful they may be, cannot set the sandwich to rest. They may prolong his lifespan, but this does not satisfy the such third longing, one that can never be stifled for a life to come. While the world is at first before the mystery of death, the church thought by divine revolution declares that God has created man in view of a blessed destiny that lies beyond the limits of his peace state on earth. Moreover, the Christian faith insists that the bodily death from which man would have been immune had he not seen would be overcome when the wholeness which he has lost through his own fault will be given once more to him by the Almighty and merciful Savior. For God has called man and still calls him to cleave to him with all things in sharing forever a life that is divine and free from all decay. Christ won his victory when he rose to life. For by his death, he freed man from death. Faith, therefore, with this solemnly raised teaching, provides every thoughtful man with an answer to his anxious query about his future lot. At the same time, it makes him happy to be united in Christ with the loved ones who have already died and gives hope that they have found true life with God. Thus, death for a Christian is a transition from life to life. A Christian goes through a cycle of life to death and death to life. And that's why we ask the question, what about the death of a Jewish by excellence? This satisfaction to all the of will because he had been called home to unite in eternity with God, whose concern is justice. Honorable Justice, C.C. Wentz was a judge of unimpeachable integrity and an unquestionable character. He was an intellectual giant of a rare pedigree. Who lays, who lays his life with a very uncommon level of humility. I appear before Justice Mansi at the Supreme Court with his colleagues in several locations that I cannot enumerate. He gave an impeccable contribution, contributing judgment in one of the cases I did, and that was 
my date is the state, part 1587, for lawyers around. And a highly informative lead judgment in another case I did. And that was the maritime, which is state, part 1629, I don't know what He attended and gave a happy woman and quintessential dinner speech at my reception at the newly invasive senior doctor of Nigeria in November 2021. There is therefore no doubt that I know Justice C. C. Wett, both at professional and personal values. And in fact, Justice Wett shared his bounty to all who came and brought knowledge and influence. And I share in that too. And that's why I ask the question, what is the quality of a judge of this incapable, uh, incredible character, a judge by excellence? And I go on. I have only to enumerate. Integrity entails self-respect. A man may sacrifice honor for profit. The world is full of temptations towards profitable dishonesty. The Holy Writ in Matthew chapter 8, verse 37, asks, What profit is it for a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? For what is a man to give in exchange for his life? Lack of integrity. And uprightness is what a common man calls adoption. A jurist must be a man of integrity and uprightness, as our great talent, since he has always been. A corrupt individual often believes himself that no one knows his short appearance. If, for example, for instance, if a judge is corrupt, he may think that only his accomplice knows what was going on. Let all would he know that everyone around him and beyond has received his nakedness. He is like a, a king who wanted his tailor to make him a garment that no one has ever worn for his father festival. Every room that was produced and presented had a replica that had been made and won by someone somewhere. Threatening to wipe out the states and officials if they fail to produce the robe like of, like, like of which had never been worn before. The state went to consult a successor and they did it. Then what we got of this is A, that he could produce the road that he could walk where with no one has ever walked. But he wants it again. Now this road will not be seen by his own eyes. It will only be seen by others and people who look at him, including his subjects. They did not conduct an elaborate incantation and ritual on their king and rubbed the king all around his body with his fingers and aromatic scent all over his body. He then pronounced him a king wearing a robe that no one has ever worn. Now, proceed to the festival. They came marched to the marketplace for the festival. When the king was moving with his robots to the public square, people looking at him were wide eyes and wide mouth people. The king believed that they were admiring his wonderful garment not knowing that he was a stock maker 
the fact that he suffered and his advantages. No one had the courage to talk. However, there was a little boy of ten years old who came to the arena with his father. He looked at the king and looked at his father and said, Daddy, the king is naked. Immediately he said that. The crowd busted in a morning. The king was naked. Everyone started laughing at the naked, nakedness of the king. The king was highly embarrassed and ashamed of himself that he had to be escorted back to the palace. He summoned this idiot for an explanation under the pain of death. They did by then the throne in the naked throne. But the rule, the life of which had never been won, does not exist for the moment. He puts his interest in life solely on material possession. Material possession fixes a man's heart to this world alone, making him to think in terms of pride, price, and not in terms of value. He will think in terms of what money he can get, and he may well forget that there are values in this world far beyond money. That there are things which have no price. And that there are precious things that money cannot buy. Our great tourist, par excellence, C.C. Mark, recognizes the true value of life. The second point of morality is that the church, the tourist, must be a man of service, knowing that he is dispensing justice as mandated by his creator, the foundation of justice. The standard of every choice is service to humanity. He is an agent of God when dispensing justice. His greatness consists not in reducing other men to service, but in reducing oneself to their service. The basic trouble in the human situation is that men want to do later as little as possible and to get as much as possible. It is only when they are filled with the desire to put into life more than they take out that life for themselves and for others will be happy and prosperous. The world needs Judges whose idea is service. Such a judge is the hope of the common man. Judge C. C. Mays is a great jurist of high integrity and uprightness. He is a man, he is a victim of service in our judicial system. We now ask the last question Why are we here for the funeral? of Justice C.C. West. My third mother says, three different people, or group of people, may answer this question differently based on their belief system and their conception of God. For instance, an atheist has a different idea. These are people who claim that there is no God. And they even pretend they can prove it. We call them the case. They believe that once a man dies, that he, that is his end. His body simply decays, and he ends in nothing. He goes and slides into wickedness. One man found the fire back. Which is, considered, which is considered the father of materialism in this world. Goes this, and he said, Man is what he eats. According to him, instead of teaching people about heaven or power in the sky, give them what to eat. For him and his group, we do not need to pray for the dead. However, we know 
that his idea is possible to even our very human instinct, which bears in himself the seed of eternity. Our instinct rebels against death as the final answer. Studies have shown that even though there are people who profess it is, but in their innermost being, they still believe that there is a force in nature, beyond human terror, upon which everything reacts. We are not a group, because for the things we should go home. These are materialists who refuse to be disturbed by the crying voice, the crying voice of their inner conscience. Because no matter what we think, everyone has that voice inside that will always disturb him. Even if you want to kill it, it will continue to be suffering. They want to be completely free to do whatever they want to whomever they want. For them, whatever you want to do, whether you celebrate death or not, we don't care. Then we have another group. And I believe that's the group all of us belong to. And that's why we are here. The atheists. The These are people who have no doubt that this world will not have come out Ex nihilo, nihilo, fit. Nothing exists out of nothing. They believe that the order in nature, the seed of life, came from a supreme power whom we call God. Christians go further to hold that this God. When the Catholic Church teaches about heaven, hell, and heaven, we will find people if they are not the Catholics. Heaven is no other place other than that place for that condition to be more precise where the Creator is. And once a person is there, we say he has enjoyed the dinner life. In other words, he is participating in the life of God himself. Here is a condition of rejection of God. Because we believe that once a man is born, he really does not die. Because what, when this corporal body decays, he transcends the other arena, either heaven or hell, where he answers for his deeds on earth. And where is the place of honor from here? This one I say it for our message to the people because I want to make people understand this very well. And I always do give this illustration in a local church. Purgatory is not a secret state or a place. It is only a moment of transition. We have only a, a place, a condition of God. And we have a condition of God. And when at that time, the pendulum swings. And if the pendulum swings left, it is in hell. If it swings right, it is in heaven. 
Let us pray. Let us pray to be a confidence to God of God. To be for God, who have all things, as we raise the Son Jesus Christ from the dead, so we may give peace and salvation to both the living and the dead. The one. Grant eternal rest to your son, Jehovah.
that Jesus Christ will show mercy to the infant and the troubled. He showed them his body blessing and restored to them lasting health of mind and body.
That those who stand on the planet who set them to your dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faith in God, life is changed, not ended. And when we step in, we are returns to dust. As an eternal dwelling is made ready for you, for them to her. And so, with angels and archangels, we throws and dominions. With all the hosts and powers of heaven, we send the heat of the glory as we have and we are clean. We are the first. Away, 
you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. See you, God, as you are. We shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through Christ I hope, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Those that are always come to the supper of the Lord. Lord, you have of friends, bring us eternal life.
Chief Judge of the State, and I'm from Justice in the Arab of the Senate. Chief Judge of the Arab of the State, and I'm from Justice in the Arab of the State, and I'm from Justice in the Chief Judge of the State, and I'm from Justice in the Arab of the State. President of the American people, the name is Chief Judge of the State, and I'm from Justice in the Arab of the State. Members of the University of Colorado, one of the judges of the University of Colorado, and other judges of the Colorado Nations, the seven and a half of the judges. My family, one of the judges of the system, and the judges of the system, one of the judges of the system, and 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 the judges of the system, Hello, Mr. President, Esquire, Chief Register of the Supreme Court, Chief Register of the High Court of Human Rights, Kinsey Delta, Leonard Manchester, Mr. President, Senior Advocates of Nigeria, Chairman of various branches of the Nigerian Bar Association, and brothers and sisters of the law. Before I go on to my Chief Minister, I would like to thank each and every one of you here. We are grateful to everyone who has defied some challenges and whether the staff is able to join us in very introduction. With the honor and dignity of them, our thanks are due to each one of you. Gently and respectfully. The sacrifices of love, compassion, and ashes in the center of our hearts for perpetual recovery. May the good Lord hold you upon us. Grant you all the best of safe travels and the return to us to the same When you learn one, and when you learn, I am your daughter. And I'm back home. When you need to take the kid.
I wish I could still hear your voice one more time, Dad. I wish a lot of things. The memory of your companionship, the shadow that walks with me here, that never seems to leave me, that wakes me up at night to tell me the same story over and over again. This very summer iteration makes us abandon you to the dawn. And even at dawn, it begins again. Each detail that accompanies each dreadful last moment of your life, I am forced to recall and repeat in the chambers of my brain. Every strange note of your voice, every twitch of your dying hands, every last thought, I remember it all. I wish I could take it back. I wish I could take it over. I wish I could take it over. But to regret one's own experience is to arrest one's own development. To deny one's own experiences is to put a lie on the deep of one's life. It is no less than the denial of the soul. So do the marriage of God, ladies and gentlemen, and sins that the mind. For the first time, I have a real desire to work that. In this time of soul, let us find solace in knowing that the means behind the legacy of honor, integrity, and no brain education because of justice. To my new wife, and I don't need justice. Don't need to see that To the rest of my family, I can send something good for us on this day. To force on us the necessity of asserting ourselves and being the only consumer of our product. Yeah, this is the one who the memory of our father, our father, father. To his brothers, to his friends, colleagues, Indian people, and Latin Nigeria, and to the beneficiaries of my father's good nature. It is my entrance to you today not to abandon us at the various moments, the highest it was my father's good nature. Rest in peace, dear dad. I am
so many churches in this house here that the church ring, but the church does not ring nowhere in our right now. Also, it's an opportunity to return such people back to the church. Also, it's a place where the church gets to meet people who spend so much resources on the end of the world. It's a brother. 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 It's a brother.
the world of the world of justice, gentles, awareness, and each other. Now, Senator Chukupa, all these Christian videos of the church pass, they can never be a Christian. I need to let him. If you don't want me to go to the world of the world, now the world of the world, you don't want me to go.
Microfone, o tema vai estar. O microfone, o tema vai estar. O microfone, o tema vai estar. O microfone, o tema Thank you. 
and I appreciate you. What is the first time? Where can I go? I get it, I get this. I'm 
Je sais pas To the family, Abu Noah will give him where he's at the center of the feed and present your gift to the family. Oh. 